Hi guys, it's Monica. I know you know that, right? Because you're here watching. But if you're new here, you might not know. So yes, it's Monica. And if you are new here and you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe tab below and the notification tab. I would truly appreciate your support. Today I'm going to talk about anti-aging your hands using Retin-A. Does Retin-A really work to anti-age? Is there such a thing as anti-aging your hands? Can you actually keep your hands young? I mean, everyone always says your neck and your hands are the first thing that really age you. I think your lips, the wrinkles around your mouth and your neck, I think that's the first thing because people tend to look at you when you're talking and then your hands. So let me tell you my hand story. Back in 2016, early 2016, I had decided to change the setting to my wedding band. And I had been shopping for a band at a jewelry store that had created my wedding band originally. So this is someone that I know, someone that I trust explicitly. And so I had been shopping with her. I had given her a bunch of my little diamonds. And I wanted her to put them in a band. I wanted some of my, I wanted my original stones. I didn't want to have a bunch of new stones. So I had enough stones to be able to create the band I wanted. I took a photo of my ring and I sent it to my mom. And I was like on cloud nine because it, it was just what I envisioned. The, the only thing that I don't have is the second band, the third band, I should say. So when you look at this picture, you'll see my ring that I wear all the time, but with two bands. The one band I don't have on my finger, I'm going to stop wearing that. But anyways, long story short, so I was like super happy because I had, I really liked the ring. I, I All my diamonds fit. I didn't have to buy new diamonds, you know. They all worked really well in the band. So I sent a photo to my mother so that she could see what the band looked like. I sent it in a direct message on Facebook. And she, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. But she sent me a message back and she said, your ring is beautiful. Too bad it's on such old looking hands. I didn't even know what to say because I never even noticed my hands. I, I just looked at my ring. I was just focusing on my ring. It made me feel so self-conscious that for a while, you know, when you get a new piece of jewelry, you like to, you know, flash it. You like to go, oh, whatever, you know. Uh, but so for a while, I was like hiding my hands instead of flashing my hands because I just, I just remembered her words. It's too bad. It's on such old looking hands and it was it hurt me but it was also in my opinion the truth you know my mother is my mother your mother loves you unconditionally your mother is always at least mine is the first one to be brutally honest with you and she'll say it the way it is she won't mince words she won't sugarcoat if she thinks I look fat she tells me if she thinks my hair is a mess she tells me if she thinks I'm wearing too much makeup she tells me. So my mother is brutally honest. And when she said that about my old looking hands, I went, holy mackerel. So in early 2016, I started to be very diligent about putting sunblock on my hands. I really, really, I looked at this picture. I'm going to insert it here. This is the picture I sent my mother. My focus point at the time was my ring. My mother's focus point at the time was my hands. So I never thought I would ever be publishing that photo because it was so distressing to me to have my mother say my hands were so old and ugly looking in that sense. Or she didn't say ugly, old looking hands. I say ugly. That's how I interpret the words. So um, I never thought I'd publish it, but it serves as a good reminder because, yeah, this is what my hands are, you know, and they are old. I am 65 years old. So from that point on, I started to really be very diligent with sunblock. Now, every time, I will, I will admit that every time I put anything on, you know, like sunblock on my face, I would always just always do the, the extra stuff, you know, on my body. I would just always put it on my hands. But I wasn't super, super good with it. I wasn't religious with it. So when my mother told me that, I looked at my hands and I said, 
holy mackerel. I said, how do I, you know, how do I, how do I show my ring? How do I feel comfortable with my hands if they look so old? So, and they still look old. They're not, they're not better. But the journey that I'm on, anti-aging my hands using Retin-A. Many of you have asked, what am I doing? So in 2016, I started to take a plastic bag. <laughs> and I would take Nivea cream and I would put the Nivea, Nivea cream, Nivea cream all over my hands. And I always got the one in the tube that my mother would get me actually from Germany. I still use this to this day. This is the hand cream I use to this day. It is very thick. It is very... I mean, take a look at this white. It's heavy in consistency, but this is what I use to this day on my hands. So, anyways, I would put the cream on my hands at night, and I would put my hands in a plastic bag for a little bit. Sometimes I would try to sleep with them, but it never really worked. I always ended up taking it off. I didn't like it. So, when I started to do the Retin-A, I had bought the weakest Retin-A, 0.25. And I had bought a bottle of cacao oil. And what I was doing at that point in time is I would take my Retin-A and I would put a good globber, good globber, a good drop. Now you can see how much I have here. And then I would take my cacao oil and I would mix it into this. I would do a drop or two and I would go up. I'm putting this on my neck and I really shouldn't right now, but I hate to waste it. And I'm not going out. But I would go on my neck and down into my decolletage, decollete. And then, of course, I would go on the tops of my hands. And that's what I would do. So I started to do that in 2016 when I started my Retin-A with cacao oil, Retin-A. Every, day that I, every night that I put it on my face, I put it on my hands. And I would do that. And I religiously did that in sunblock every single day, but I did that until I was reached, I was actually Hand MD had reached out to me to test their product. And then I used the Hand MD, which is a retinol product and a cream on one side. It's the pump. You put it, you know, it's one side. Whoops, I still have some in there. I'm surprised. Well, anyways, I was putting that on my hands and I did that. I don't know the whole time until I, I thought it was empty. And I didn't really notice any kind of dramatic improvement, but I thought it was an unfair test in a way because I've been using the Retin-A and on my hands. I stopped, when this was done, I stopped and I immediately went back to my Retin-A and once my first bottle, I should say this, once my first bottle of the Kake oil ran out, I bought rosehip seed oil. First I bought it in TJ Maxx, organic cold press rosehip seed oil, and then I started to buy it from The Ordinary. I really like their rosehip seed oil and for me anyways, now I know other people might say completely the opposite of what I'm going to say, but for me... I never noticed a difference between the rosehip seed oil and the cacao oil the way I was using it mixed with my Retin-A on my neck and chest and hands. I never saw any kind of a difference in it. So since the two products, even though the people that love the cacao oil will say it's better, the people that love the rosehip seed oil will say it's better, I'm just going to tell you I didn't see a difference between the two. The only difference I ever saw between the two is the price. So I continue to use the rosehip seed oil to this day is what I'm using on my neck, on my chest, on my hands. Mixed with, now I don't have any more of the 0.25%, so I am mixing it with the 0.05. So I've gone up. And I do that every night that I use the Retin-A, which is about four, sometimes five nights. I also treat my neck, my chest, my hands. My neck, my chest, my hands with a big drop, after I've done my face, I take my, my 0.05, put a big drop on here, mix it with a couple of drops of the rosehip seed oil and smoosh it all together, and I massage my neck and my chest, and then I do the tops of my hands. Really, really good. So I really like that. Then, at one point, at the end of the night, this is coming out. This is the last thing I put on my hands at night, and I put a 
I put it all over the place, all over my hands. A nice thick coating. I really like it. It, it doesn't smell. I grew up with it. It's all my mother ever used. So I grew up with it. And then I also have these. I ordered these not too long ago. So I've only been using this, gosh, a month. But this is just a preventive. These are the driving, the sunblock driving gloves. Because I figured this season... I am going to be serious about trying to get rid of my age spots. So I have a couple of age spots, age spots that I have been working on. I also every now and then will use my hydroquinone on those spots, but I'm very careful with that. So I have a couple of age spots that I'm trying to work on for my hands. So during the day when I'm driving, especially in the summer, this is what I've been wearing. These are actually normally in my car, in my glove box. So when I get in, I just put them on. The other thing that I like for my hands, and I told you that I would stick my hands in baggies, which I did, but uh, I got this, and I will try to link the company for you. I actually got this from Bolzano, Alonzo, the handbag company. I know I, I always put you that name too. Anyways, I got this from them, and this was in one of my bags, and I got this right before we went to Vegas in March for our convention. It was in that pack. I love these gloves. These are really, really kind of funky. They're like these big mitts, and let me take one out. It's like really cool. They're really heavy. There's two of them in here. They're really heavy. You put them on, and you just sit for 20 minutes with these gloves on. 20 minutes is all you really need. You can do more if you want, but 20 minutes and you can reuse these, I think 250 times. <coughs> so, and then when you're done, you just stick them back in the bag. <coughs> Excuse me. When you're done, you just stick them back in the bag, seal it up, and they're good to go. So, since I got these, I have I don't use them that often. I want to say that maybe once or twice a week is what I've been doing with these. But they really, really make your hands feel super, super nice. But and I know we're all different. Between the Retin A, the rose hip seed oil, and this cream is really what makes my hands super feel super good. And I think is what's helping my hands kind of improve a little bit from the way they were when I sent that picture to my mom. Also, the other thing is water, water, water. If there's one secret that every single one of you can do, and I know you probably all know this, is drink a ton of water. The more hydrated you are, the better your skin looks, not only on your face and neck, but in your hands. So the more hydrated you are, the better it looks. So anyways, that's my hand update. I know many of you ask. I get often get comments on my hands. I look at my hands and I see ugly old hands. Ugly old hands. And I hear my mother's voice in the back of my head. Your ring is beautiful, but too bad it's on such old looking hands. And and this was like 2016, so it wasn't all that long ago. I don't think my hands have dramatically improved. I think they're better. I think the Retin-A has helped them a little bit. I think the cream, the water, being hydrated, and most importantly, the sunblock, and now hopefully these sun gloves, will continue to help my hands kind of slow down that aging process. At 65, I don't expect them to be baby soft or go back to looking like they did when I was young but I think there's an improvement and and these gloves I think Julie Mimosa had talked about this I'll link her channel again this is I had bought them um, when she talked about them and I used her her Amazon link so I'll give you that information but for cheap money can go a long way and your fingers come out so they're very they're very comfortable as far as driving they're also very easy to get on and off I don't find them hot at all. They're not hot and sweaty. They're kind of like, you know, kind of cool looking, I think. Kind of stylish. Styling. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
yeah, that's my retin-A update for my hands anyways. So do you think, what do you guys do? How do you keep your hands young looking? Are any of you using your retin-A and your KK oil or your rosehip seed oil? And again, whatever oil you use or whatever you do, I'm not going to jump on the KK versus rosehip seed oil bandwagon. I just think you'd use whatever you can afford and what works good. And like I said, for me, I didn't see any big difference. Nothing that justified the money for me anyway, so... Um, yeah, so if you're if you're loving what you're doing, let me know. I really, really would like to help my hands look better so my mother never says those words to me again. I'd like to get rid of those words. They still, I still hear them every time I look at my hands. I hear them. So let me know your secret. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.